Who is your favorite basketball player and why? Um, my favorite basketball player is Chris Paul. I like the way he played both ends of the floor. Um, he has the ability to control the game without scoring, and um, he's also a great leader. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Tough to follow that one up, but I'll try. Um, Fresh, what was the driving force behind your performance on Saturday, and, and how much confidence does that type of game give you going forward? Uh, my, my, my driving force is just try to get a win, um, try to do as best as possible to get my team energy on both ends of the floor and uh, give us the best chance possible for us to uh, come out with the W. And, um, I mean, my confidence has been there. I've always said I think I need to play better for my guys and my teammates, uh, especially – um, we go through the battles and day in and day out. I feel like I need to be more for them. So, you know, I'm just uh, working on myself being accountable for my guys every single day. And I feel like uh, Saturday was a good start for that. Did you go into that game with any particular thing in mind in terms of being on that kind of stage and having a big opportunity, the rivalry, all those things that you were experiencing for the first time? Um, I mean, I didn't come in there with no exact plan. Uh, I definitely I love the moment. I love the, the big lights and the rivalry and the big games. Uh, they mean more to not just us, but uh, to everybody. And um, I, I had fun on those days being out there. But, um, you know, like I said, it was about me out there trying to bring as much energy as possible for my team to try to get the win. And, um, you know, even though we fell short and things like that, I feel like we improved in so many areas. Your role here is different than it was at St. Joe where you we're starting all the time, coming off the bench here. Are you comfortable that way, or is it taking some time to get comfortable? Or what's your feeling about your role here? Um, I mean, life ain't always going to be how you want it to be. Um, me not starting doesn't really mean anything to me at all. Uh, I set a goal out when I first came here, and that was to win games and uh, have a winning season for my last year. And uh, that's what we're doing. We have done that from the jump, and uh, we're going to continue to work on that and try to get wins. So in terms of my role, I'm going to bring whatever – Whatever that day decides it, or whatever the team depends on me to bring, um, that's going to be my role for that day. So what do you know about Florida State? Um, great size at each position, kind of like an NBA size team. Um, great defenders uh, play one style of pressuring you the whole game, forcing you to do turnovers. So uh, we have to key in and do a great job on limiting our turnovers and uh, making sure we get the best shot possible. You weren't here for that game last year, but it got kind of – it didn't go the way they wanted it to go late. Uh, have you all watched much film of that? Have you talked about it much or – No, we haven't really watched any film. Um, it's a different team this year than last year. Uh, our goal is always to finish. That's been the motto. So at the end of the day, we have to go out there and from – the start of the game to the end of the game, the full 40 minutes we have to finish. You guys have dipped your toes into ACC play a couple times this year, but mm -hmm. this really gets it going for the rest of the season. Right. Is there a different mindset that you guys need, or, or do you feel a little different once you get into conference play? Um, I mean, we take the same mindset every game in terms of going out there and trying to win. Of course, the, uh, the, the stakes, I say, they'll say is a tad bit higher with um, it being conference time. Um, every game matters. We don't want to look back on games at the end of the season and be like, I wish we didn't give this one away or I wish we didn't give these two away. So uh, each game kind of right now is like you can count these as March Madness games because that's the way that we're looking at them. A lot of people say that the ACC is not as strong this year as it has been. Four teams in the top 25 and so forth. What are your thoughts on the on the league this season based on what you've seen so far? Right. I mean, when you watch ESPN, has anybody been very strong from any conference? I mean, this is, this is what they say daily. So, I mean, I still feel as though ACC is the best conference in the country. And um, any team on any conference, uh, when, when an ACC team is on their schedule, they're, they're circling that and they're saying, wow, we have this team to go up against. So um, every team is going to give us a tough time. Um, every team is going to play their heart out uh, every game in the ACC. So we have to be fully prepared for that 100% to know that we're going to get teams' best shots and best efforts. What uh, Lucas talked about the Florida State steals, I think, and – and or you did. Um, why are they such a good steals and turnover team? Uh, they have a lot of size at each position. Uh, starting off with uh, Trent Forrest at the point guard being 6'4". 
uh, athletic with long arms all the way to the seven footers that's in the back line. So, I mean, they their their size gives you a t- quite a quite of a problem from the jump because you can't just pass the ball around, do the things you normally do against smaller teams. So uh, we have to be more decisive in the way we pass the ball and the way we get open and things like that. It's going to take a little extra effort with those guys being able to get in the passing lanes. Fresh, because of the the, the conference and, and the way it is this year and, and college basketball in general, how important are the games at home? It's going to be tough to win on the road, but how important are the games at home? And then can you go into what you've seen with the home court advantage here that, uh, in the games you've played so far? Yeah, um, home court games are golden. Uh, you're supposed to take care of home court. Uh, this is where we're at every day. This is the city that we live in every day. We, we got to make sure that we take these games and, and capture them and make sure they're secure. And um, in terms of uh, your second question was basically... Yeah, um, home court advantage. We, I feel like we got the best crowd in the country. Uh, that's our six man for us. Uh, I know they're gonna pack the house up and bring the energy for us this Saturday. And uh, we're gonna need that, and it's gonna be vice versa. Anyone else? Great, thank you, Fred. Thank you. Appreciate that.